past the Hawksback interchange with the A31 affected as well. On the M25, a van's broken down, blocking a lane anti-clockwise between Junction 25 for Enfield and 24 for Potter's Bar. That's in a section which doesn't have a hard shoulder, but uh, traffic does seem to be getting past OK. The M4 is still a little slow westbound, approaching the elevated section at Osterley. In Crouch End, Crouch Hill remains closed southbound for emergency electricity works. In Kentish Town, the traffic lines are out on Kentish Town Road at the junction with Prince of Wales Road, and the A2 New Cross Road is slow heading out of town from New Cross Gate to Deptford Bridge. And on the tube, because of engineering works, there are part suspensions on the district circle lines. About a policy, then call in now. Insurance expert Steve Smuts with me as we take your calls and questions on insurance claims. The number you need, 0845 6060. 973. Yes, that's the number. If you've got a question about insurance, Steve, good evening to you. Good evening, Clive. Thank you for coming in. Um, lots going on, actually, in the uh, in the insurance world at, at the moment, so we're going to talk about some of the, uh, the latest developments in the industry. But just to uh, explain why what people might call in with as well, I mean, you, you are prepared to try and help people sort out their claims and, and work their way through policies, which can be quite difficult sometimes. Yes, um, I mean, what, what we do is that we, uh, we spend a couple of years sort of cataloguing rather boringly all the laws and regulations and, uh, and the rules that apply to insurance. And so when somebody has a problem, we can profile what that problem is quite quickly uh, and apply it against the common reasons insurers use to refuse paying claims. Mm. So I, I get the impression, being quite cynical, uh, uh, that the insurance companies have a sort of default position quite often of just not wanting to pay, and if they can think of something to say uh, that will stop stop you getting paid, they will. Is, is that unfair? Well, that, it, it is slightly unfair. Yes. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's always a small uh, proportion of rogues, if you like, in the industry, mm. but, but generally there's a few problems um, really that cause claims being refused. I mean, to start with, the whole market has changed quite considerably over the last 10 years so that people more than ever now buy products on price and that's led insurers to if you like deconstruct their policies so mm. the default position is quite often by less than you think you were buying. Um, yes so you, you mean you, you you know you can buy your bronze or your silver or whatever and, and the less you pay the less cover you're getting. Yeah as a, as a sort of standard position that's correct mm. um, but also of course when you when you get sent your policy wording um, not everybody uh, is interested to read it. And well, and isn't it sometimes impossible uh, to read all the small print? Well, I think I think it's you know a lot of people don't read them, but also um, for those that do, um, it's actually quite difficult to to live your life in compliance yeah. with, with what the what the policy requires. Yes, and then, and then also I suppose um, you know insurers do inevitably stretch wordings um, and, and the and the application of words when, when they. Well, you do seem to, to hear this sometimes, I and mean, it will be interesting to hear from, from listeners today, actually, if, if they've experienced this, that you think, right, oh, I'm covered. You know, I've taken out mobile phone insurance, so that means if anything happens to my mobile phone. And then when you ring up, they say, oh, yeah, but this doesn't cover that. Yeah. On yeah. that particular occasion, you were doing this or whatever. Uh, and um, it's all down to the letter of the law, then, isn't it? Well, it is, and I mean, what, what we sort of specialise in, it's not only, of course, resolving these issues of whether a claim is to be paid is not only just related to what the small print says. There are a lot of issues around that, uh, how the policy was sold, um, whether an insurer can rely on a particular thing, and they're, and they're the points we look at, as well as just the small print, to help people try and get claims paid. And how do you know whether it is worth having a fight over a, a claim that's been turned down then? How do you make that judgment? Well, I suppose the, the way we make that judgment is that um, traditionally a lot of claims that are turned down are turned down because they get trapped. If I could be rude for a minute, what I call the sort of call centre cycle, which is that you get trapped into an environment. Um, and insurance is boring, fiddly, but it's actually quite complicated and complex. And so um, when, you, when you sort of go into the environment centre often you'll get something refused and what we'll do is we'll apply all the rules and regulations against that particular insurer's excuse and, and also against the circumstances of the refusal and we'll profile it to see if, if we think the person has got a case and if we do we'll help them try and get the claim paid. I mean we, we don't make futile claims, we don't try and fight things that we don't think we can win. 
0845 is the number, and we'll take some calls in just a moment. It's LBC, the time, 8.15. Well, there was cars up there about fucking the half a mile. Center. Well, there are long delays heading through Guildford northbound on the A3. A 4x4's broken down by the cathedral turn, and that's causing queues back past the in the road. to Compton. The M4 still a little slope westbound, approaching the elevated section at Osterley. In Crouch End, Crouch Hill remains closed southbound for emergency Denbury electricity in works. The road. In Kentish Town, the traffic lights are out on Kentish Town Road at the junction with Prince of Wales Road. The A2 New Cross Road is slow heading out of town from New Cross Gate to Deptford Bridge. And in Southwark, a traffic light failure southbound on Borough High Street means there's no right turn into Southwark Street. Denbury in the, the road. Two, because of engineering works, there's no circle line between Gloucester Road and Aldgate, and no district line between Embankment and Where the fuck is Denbury? East, and also between Earls Court and Kensington. There's cars off a mile in the road. Railways, there's a reduced service on the Gamble Express. Keeping you moving, your next travel update is in 30 minutes. This is LBC. Oh, right, so where the fuck was this debris? Right, they were training the fucking clock. 